Creating a company file is easy, whether you're new to QuickBooks or a seasoned veteran. QuickBooks Setup has Express Start, which steps you through the basics of creating your company file, but without much chance of customizing. On the File menu, choose New Company. The QuickBooks Setup window opens with several options for creating your company file. In this case, click Express Start to get started. The Tell Us About Your Business screen asks for your basic company 411. Type the name of your business in the company name box. Then start typing the industry your business is in. If you want help selecting an industry, click Help Me Choose. Look through the list for your industry. And if you see it, click it. When you select an industry, QuickBooks selects accounts typical for that industry for your chart of accounts. But you can change the chart of accounts later on if you want. If you don't find an industry that sounds right, you can pick General Product-Based Business or General Service-Based Business at the bottom of the list. Then click OK. Select the type of company you have. That way, QuickBooks assigns the correct tax form for your company file. Next, type in your tax ID number, which is your employer ID number that you get from the federal government or your social security number. Click Continue. You don't have to fill in your contact information at this point, but if you do, you can quickly start sending forms to your customers and vendors once your company file is created. To go ahead and create your file, click Create Company File. It will take a couple of minutes for QuickBooks to create the file. The program creates it in the folder you used most recently. QuickBooks chooses settings for you based on the ones typically used by other companies in your industry. You can change those settings as you'll learn later on. The next screen offers a quick way to enter information about your customers, vendors, and employees the products and services you sell, and your bank accounts. For example, to add information about customers, click the first Add button. You can import customer contact information from Microsoft Outlook or a Yahoo or Gmail account. If you have data in a spreadsheet, you can paste it in, or you can just type it manually. Click Continue to display the entry form. It's as easy as selecting an option for the type of contact and filling in the cells. If you don't want to enter data now, click Continue, and click Continue again. To go ahead and start working, click the Start Working button. You can go back to add more information by clicking Return to Add Info in the Quick Start Center. If the Quick Start Center isn't visible, click Quick Start Center in the Getting Started panel. If you want to add your company's legal name, or when your fiscal year starts, on the Company menu, click Company Information. The legal name is the one you use on tax returns and legal documents. The only time the legal name is different than the company name is for a sole proprietorship, when the legal name is the name of the person. Most small businesses use the calendar year. In this case, leave January in the box. If your fiscal year starts in a different month, choose it from the drop-down list. Now that your company file is open, you can choose other settings, record transactions, and keep your books with QuickBooks.